Well, hello and welcome back to <laughs> a long overdue video again. It's been a year. Sorry about that. Anyways, today we're going to be looking at drawing muzzles like Tracy Yardley. And uh, it's a lot easier than you think, so let's get started. I'm going to pull up this picture here. Very simple. It's just Sonic in the cast. And I took this picture because there's a bunch of different uh, directions the characters are facing. So what, what I'm going to do is I just covered all the characters with a red uh, net of the face. And so this is going to be the basis of the muzzle drawing. This is super important. So understanding the face, facial anatomy, step one. Step one. Okay. So from here, uh, I'm going to enlarge these so we can get a better understanding of what we're working with here. So here we can see that in this face, uh, this circular face right here, the top part is for the eyes and the bottom part is for the muzzle. So the muzzle belongs in this bottom part of the circle. So whenever you're about to draw a Sonic character, this is like the first thing that you should start with when drawing a face. Okay, so now let's get into the muzzles. So in each one, I've drawn a muzzle. So you can see in which direction, very crudely, which direction and how the muzzle shape would look on each one, depending on the angle. Okay, so... With this in mind, let's go on. Let's compare a big picture. So here we have just a regular picture of Sonic. He's got the usual circle face, and we've divided where the eyes go and where the muzzle goes. But you'll notice a few things. Look, the muzzle is seeping th out of the, um, the bottom line there. There it is. So the thing about this technique that I'm about to tell you is that uh, it doesn't matter if the muzzle goes over the, the middle line like that. All that you need to know is that roughly the muzzle goes into the bottom half of the uh, circle there. So that's all we need to know. So don't worry about these like jutting parts out here. Those aren't important. We just This is just an idea. You're going to have to be able to understand and unpack each muzzle as you draw them yourself, uh, depending on how it looks. So there's no like set in stone way of drawing muzzles. Okay, so now we know where the muzzle goes. It's in the bottom part there. Now let's break down the shape on how to use it. Okay, so I got this picture of Burning Blaze right here. And as we can see, there's the muzzle. Right there. Now, with this, we're going to deconstruct the outlines like this. So there's how Yardley drew it. Now how Yardley does it is I broke it down into very crude shapes because if you can understand the crude shapes then you can easily understand the rest of the, the muzzle. So see it's kind of just draw I've drawn sharp lines. It's very basic. But you can understand the shapes. And then when you refine it, it kind of looks like this. And so I've added a few points here. So what you want, whenever you draw a muzzle, you want to have four points. That's what I like to call it. So I have a point here where uh, the two lines meet, then a point here and a point here. And then this bottom point here, you kind of want to have the bottom of the muzzle almost directly uh, in a line like this. You kind of want to have them kind of lined up. They have to be very, like, that, those are the two points. This helps the overall shape of the character, kind of like that. It's important because it helps these lines here to slope downwards. If they're not sloping downwards, it loses the effect, which is what Yardley is so good at. So here, with this arrow, we can see that there's a slope downwards. So you want this, uh, if we were to divide it like this, from the two points here, you're going to slope downwards. So there'll be, there should be a gap like this big on either side. So just remember that the outside of the muzzle is here on these edges. So just because this is the point doesn't mean that it's the out total outside of the muzzle. So there's a little bit of a slope and it curves right back in. So now that you know the basic shape of the muzzle and you know how to ap ap apply it using the uh, circle technique, now you can go forth and create your own muzzles. Hopefully I'll be able to post more videos and uh, not take a year to post each one. But until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.